in the Bible, it speaks of a person that's going to come one day. And I believe this already happened. And they one term that they put on this person is that this person is going to be a comforter. Someone that comforts you. Helps you to become comfortable. Comfortable. Some people pronounce it that way. And I'm saying this because I, I want to um, address something that real quick that uh, one of the sisters online, Sister Kamaja, was talking about my history and my tenure here on YouTube. And I've been on YouTube for, you know, over 10 years. And um, I've generated, you know, a decent amount of money. It really hasn't been enough based on my vision. And that's, I'm not going to really say my fault, but I knew my first 10 years on YouTube was going to be a trial and error because I always looked at this as like I was studying to become a doctor or something of that nature. And I know that they go to school for like up to 10 years before they even get into their career. So to me, I'm just now getting into my career. I paid off my loans for my IDs and all of that type of stuff. But I'm not really here to talk about that. I want to talk about this particular comf comfort comforter and why that season is out. The season of being comfortable is out because we are now in a time of extreme, like a, we're in a, what's called a fork in the road. You have to make an extreme choice as to you're going to go this way or that way. And if you decide to go this way, you may not be able to really be concerned with some things that make you comfortable for a while. Because when you get into consciousness, I'm going to tell you like this, and I'm going to shut down real quick. Because I have some stuff to do, and I'm going to come back up, and we can talk more about it, or you can leave a comment or whatever, you know, groups of people that want to speak more on this as far as, you know, me getting myself together. And that's where I'm headed towards now. But I'm saying, before you get to that point, you know, when you start rocking suits and you know, and really getting into yourself and your appearance, you got to first enter the pyramid. First, you got to get on the complex of the pyramid. And then once you get on the complex or the property of the pyramid, you have to enter the pyramid. And when you enter the pyramid, you can't take nothing with you. Nothing as far as physical, tangible. Imagine that. Imagine going somewhere and they telling you, we don't know if you're going to come back to your possessions, but you can't take none of them with you. Most people, a lot of people wouldn't even go down that path. And that's the beginning. That should be your mentality. If you're going, if you're trying to really ascend and be, you know, and make it to this next level, because once you ascend, you're going to be more wealthier than not to compare or compete. But this is a realm of competition. You're going to be very wealthy if you stick to the knowledge and metaphysics, any of it, really, and really follow it. You're going to become very wealthy, way more wealthier than the average person. But you have to ascend to that level, meaning that you can't think about or have nothing that you have coming in. You can't come in with your, your cars and all of that and think that you're going to make it. And so you can come in with the mentality of how you got that. But if you're really trying to make it to this level of knowledge that I'm speaking on, you're going to have to let go of certain things. Um, and a lot of it is your mentality. A lot of your possessions are linked to certain parts of your mentality that, you, that that comforts you and to get into this type of knowledge and metaphysics and to make it not just to get into it and study it you got to let go to study it but to actually make it you got to let go of everything i struggle with myself every day you got to let go of the complexes that you locked into at your age get rid of all of that you young you old now in this everybody's equal until you make it to a certain tier and these tiers are financial as well as spiritual obstacles and things that you have to go through. So um, I hope that helped. I'm not here to abuse the people's money or anything like that. Anything that I'm giving, I'm going to spend it and invest it and make it your situation better. I was able to pay back a lot of wasted money by helping people in certain areas that got readings from me, helping their teams to ascend and win certain games and lose certain games. This is how I pay back money 
in that way. I mean, I have other ways, but as far as like paying homage and making donations, this is how I do it. I do it through sports because everybody can benefit through credit, through sports, through what's called your team's record. And we'll go more into that. That ties into, believe it or not, the Akashic records. This stuff in sports and all of that is not what you think it is. It's, a lot of it is tied to the metaphysics. It's just that no one has came to decode it for you. So I'll come up for more. Keep studying. Stay vigilant. Have a great day. Hotel.